Hey, my name is Malcolm Lawson. I'm the father of a son with a Fragile X Syndrome. For Fragile X Awareness Month, which is July, I'm going to be giving you guys 10 things you probably didn't know about Fragile X. So number one, Fragile X gets its name because it is a genetic disorder that affects a single gene on the X chromosome. When this gene is mutated, it prevents it from producing a specific protein that is essential for proper neurological and physical growth and can lead to a whole array of different symptoms. Number two, Fragile X is the most common cause of inherited intellectual disabilities and it affects one out of every 4,000 males and one out of every 6,000 females have the fully mutated Fragile X gene. The pre-mutation of this gene is far more common and affects one out of every 151 women and one out of every 468 males. So this means that they are carriers of the pre-mutated gene and this gene could fully mutate in any of their children. So number three, some of the most common behavioral symptoms of Fragile X are intellectual disabilities, learning disabilities, social and behavioral problems, anxiety, inability to focus, um, hyperactivity, uh, fidgeting, and of course ADHD. Number four, there are many common physical traits that become more prominent as the child gets older, including an elongated face, larger than average ears, flat feet, low muscle tone, uh, flexible joints, and a, a prominent jaw and forehead. So number five, the personality of many people with the Fragile X Syndrome is generally pretty positive. They've got a great sense of humor, they're often laughing, they've got a strong visual memory, and they're generally pretty happy people. So number six, the Fragile X gene can be passed along for generations without anybody actually knowing about it. A mother can pass along the Fragile X mutation to both her son and her daughter, while a father can only pass along the gene to his daughter, and that is because the gene is passed along on the X chromosome, but a father passes along a Y chromosome to his son. Number seven, like most things in life, Fragile X syndrome is a spectrum. Men can expect to see anywhere from mild to severe intellectual disabilities, while with women affected by this gene, only about one third of the women have intellectual disabilities. Number eight, Fragile X is the most common genetic cause of autism, and 40% of the children who are diagnosed with Fragile X are also diagnosed with autism. My son happens to be in that 40% that is also diagnosed with autism. Number nine, there is currently no known cure for Fragile X. All you can really do is just manage the symptoms of it. Some of the most common uh, ways to manage symptoms is occupational, physical, and speech therapy. However, medication is also helpful to treat some of the behavioral issues such as anxiety and ADHD. So number 10, there's a lot of research and optimism around the CRISPR and Cas9 technology to hopefully find a cure for Fragile X someday. They've done testings and have actually been able to remove the genetic tags on the FMR1 gene, which keeps the gene turned off. By removing these genetic tags, it allows the gene to produce the protein that it typically does not produce when it's fully mutated. So that's it. That is the 10 things that you probably didn't know about Fragile X. If you'd like to learn more about Fragile X or donate to the ongoing research, then I would recommend go check out the website fraxa.org. They're doing a lot of really interesting research there, especially with the CRISPR and Cas9 technology. Now, if you're a parent that has a child with Fragile X syndrome, I also highly recommend you join the Fragile X Facebook group. My wife and I are on there all the time, and it's really helpful, you know, just seeing other children that are having the same struggles as our child and just getting some feedback from the other parents about what has worked with them, what hasn't worked with their child. So definitely go check out the Fragile X support group on Facebook.